describe uh, William Nylander's performance tonight? Uh, remarkable, you know. Um, battled all night, uh, you know, threw a big hit, scored two goals. Um, can't ask much, much more from him. The second goal, is he, is he saying to you on that he yelled for what that was? Yeah, I mean, he's yelling for it. He's calling for it. He's, uh, uh, you know, he's got a good opportunity there, and all I had to do was, was put it on his stick, and, you know, pretty pretty cool move that he made there. And, yeah, it was a, it was a good play by him. How do you guys make sure you take the effort from the last two games and apply it to so? Yeah, we just want to keep with the momentum, um, keep applying the same, same you know, system and um, same, you know, offensive uh, strategy that we've been doing, and I think that's just going to, you know, help us help us win. What are you guys doing well defensively right now? I think we're we're playing structured, and I think you know every time we had a chance to get it out, we get it out and pass the goal, pass the the blue line, and um, you know I think we we've been blocking shots and and uh, being key in front of Waller, not letting him, uh, not letting anyone take his eyes. So I think that's that's been helping us. It was obviously a tough game, uh, the last one in here, and you, you go down three one. I mean, how do you explain what's happened since the way you, everything seemed to play? Yeah, I mean, I think we came in with the mentality that we have nothing to lose, and um, you know that we're going to fight back and. Um, you know, every every inch we've clawed back now, and um, just so happy for these guys. I think, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of momentum and um, a lot of energy in this room. So we're just excited to go back there and um, finish the deal. What is, game seven, what is game seven mean to you? Yeah, I mean, this will be the first one I'm a part of. Uh, I believe so. Um, so I'm excited. Um, you know, I think it's it's going to be a fun atmosphere, and um, I think everyone's just going to be amped to play. When Willie couldn't play early in the series, what was your sense as his teammates about how much pain he was dealing with and how much it bothered him to not be in the lineup? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure he was um, wasn't happy that he wasn't he couldn't play, but um, you know, I think it's uh, everyone in here kind of stepped up and uh, did a great job. So, um, yeah, and then we were able to you know kind of. Get back in the series and you know have him join join us and uh, he had a pretty outstanding night for us tonight. John, what stood out to you about the team's performance tonight? Uh, just really liked uh, start to finish, just uh, staying with it, uh, being aggressive, um, just playing the way we need to play to give ourselves uh, an opportunity to have success and and uh, you know bring parts of our game to life um, that over time, you know. Uh, can create some advantages, a little bit more space, earn some opportunities, which uh, we then capitalized on. And uh, when we had to defend uh, and check, we did a good job. Uh, times we had to recover, and obviously uh, Joel Wall was outstanding. Defense, well, defensively, what did you guys do so well to limit them, especially early on? Well, I think you know we want to play on the attack. You want to be aggressive and play on their half of the ice, and um, you know shrink the zone, and you know you know have to use energy to work to get pucks back, and, and have to break out and, and get up the ice and. Uh, the way that uh, um, you, know, you forecheck, the way you're above and have to come through layers, um, difficult coming through the ice, nothing's clean, um, and just uh, the pace you need to play with our, ourselves to get up through their structure. Um, get, and like I said, get, get on their half and put the pressure on. Uh, I like how we got after it that way uh, from the start. So, so, about, about William, just about William uh, tonight. You know, it took a little while to get into this series, obviously, yeah. season, but what can you say about his performance? This is, you know, he's a heck of a game breaker. I mean, uh, just when he's got the puck on his stick, he can make something happen at any time. So, um, two uh, two elite finishes for us tonight. Uh, obviously, came uh, at a at a great time, in a huge way. So, um, not surprising, and uh, you know, we love having him here. What did you make of the play of uh, Matt Nice today, and specifically the composure he showed in what could have been a tense circumstance to set up Willie? Yeah, I think uh, just feeling the pressure, knowing that they were being aggressive. Obviously. Uh, um, Pushing the envelope and, and uh, uh, recognizing that, and obviously uh, just making a, a nice little play to give Willie uh, the opportunity to go in and do his thing. So, um, yeah, um, those little plays uh, go a long way and are big difference makers. Uh, uh, you know, playoff hockey uh, when there's not much room out there. Um, obviously, tensions high moments are you know uh, there's uh, uh, critical times of the game and, and uh, big play by him. So you never know what kind of playoff performer you're going to be until you do it. Uh, for the two games, Joseph Wall, the last two, what is that telling you about him? Well, I think uh, we got a glimpse of it last year, and I think uh, he's gotten the opportunity again here this year, and he's obviously uh, uh, showing the type of uh, netminder he is, and also I think just, uh, um, yeah, I think just the, the um, you know, the talent's one thing, but obviously the determination, um, the belief in himself and, and uh, uh, just enjoying the moment, trying to thrive with it and, and uh, obviously exceptional for us uh, uh, tonight and, and uh, you know, back to uh, game five as well. It's going to be the most important to start. I mean, you've been 24 to three. 
outshot them in the last two periods, or first periods combined? Yeah, we're just trying to get to our game. Um, you know, it's, it's tight out there. There's not much room. Um, you know, they defend extremely well. Uh, make it difficult and, and we're trying to make it difficult and we're trying to establish territory in our game and earning opportunities and you know just the investment you're making uh, shift after shift play after play so um, obviously something you, you want to keep going you want to uh, uphold and, and continue to get better throughout the game um, you know they're, they're a good hockey team they, they're going to make plays at times and just the way that uh, you have to check and defend uh, with stand momentum uh, it's important so but uh, obviously you know we want to try to get off on the right foot uh, uh, each and every night. So, uh, great job here again. What's Game Seven mean to you? How do you take this moment? Well, it's, it, it's a great opportunity. We've, we've, you know, got the series back level and an opportunity to move on. So, um, that's what, what this what we're playing for. This is what it's all about. So, we're excited about the opportunity and uh, the way we've stuck with it here. Um, the groups uh, stayed together, um, continue to work, uh, invest in our game, and, and just what we have to do to have success and, and you know, just. Knowing what this series feels like and what each each and every game requires, and, and trying to find another level. So, um, you know, we're excited. It's a great opportunity. What do game seven? Last one, guys. Time? You've been in a few. Uh, there's something special. Uh, there's no doubt. It, it's it's uh, it's um, you know, you battle through uh, through six games, and uh, teams are level, and, and it comes down to one game. So, um, it's exciting and, and uh, it's unique. How are you feeling after that game? Uh, tired. It was, uh, it was a grind of a game. Um, it was a great 60-minute effort by, by all the guys and um, heading to Boston. What do you say about your team's commitment to, to defend the defense and the physical side of the game tonight? Yeah, the last three games we've defended really well. Um, you know, even if uh, we turn the puck over, we, we get back and, um, you know, we group and, and, and get the job done, whether it's blocking shot or a good stick. And, um, you know, we've been competing really well. Um, and been very, very good defensively. Have you notice a progression in Matthew Mize's play in this series? Yeah, he's been, I mean, he's been great from the start. He's a beast. Um, the last few games, though, he's been, uh, you know, extra impactful. Um, you know, tonight he was just all over it and um, made a big impact. Oh, so that about Nylander's game tonight? Yeah, um, you know, he did what he needed to do. and. Um, you know, those two goals, you know, the second one is a, is a big goal, um, you know, with whatever, three, four minutes left, um, you know, to give us a better chance, and, um, you know, that's what he does. How about what's Joe Walton? What's, 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 what's playing into the, what's playing into the um, defense right off the start in the last few games, struggling with Bruins, you're not getting shots at all? I think it's just a commitment as a group to, you know, being better defensively and making it harder to, you know, get to the net and get scoring chances, and um, we've got to continue to do that. You guys really protect Joe well, but he faced a lot there in the third period. What about his game and the way he stepped up? Yeah, um, you know it's not it's not easy to, to step into a playoff series, um, and he's done an amazing job. Um, you know he's been he was big for us, you know last game and, and tonight especially. Um, you know saving us when when we weren't there for him, and um, you know he's going to continue to do that. What goes through your mind when the buzzer ends and you know that you've now got the opportunity for Game Seven? Yeah, um, you know it's just. Great, great 60 minutes from us. Um, you know, it was our goal this this whole time, obviously, to, to continue on and, and keep playing. Um, you know, we have a chance to go go and do it, and um, you know, we're all all looking forward to it. Kind of just how much is that you don't get the shutout in the end? I don't think it uh, that's a question for Joel, Joseph Wall. Do you feel like you've frustrated Marchand here a little bit of late? Uh, maybe a little bit. Obviously, I think everyone's frustrated um, over there. Um, you know that's we've been you know very good defensively and, and kind of smothering them and um, you know we got to bring that to game seven. What was it like in that room last year when the Panthers came back to force game seven against the Bruins when you were on that last side? Last one what, what was it like in that? Like what, what was the tension like last year when the Bruins lost to and the Panthers came back to force game seven? They're probably feeling something similar right now. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Obviously, um, but it's a three-three series. Um, you know, it's game seven. Um, you go either way, and we got to show up and, and bring our best effort. Willie, you uh, hadn't scored in a while, so I'm sure you're frustrated about that. How did it feel tonight to score a couple of big ones in such an important game? Yeah, of course it was. It was nice to get on the board, uh, scoring two goals for sure. But I think uh, probably was our team effort tonight. We battled, and competed uh, entire sixty, and I mean, Wooler was uh, was incredible for us as well. Willie, uh, after that first period, I think the shots were 12-1 for you guys, but still nothing on the scoreboard. How did you stick with it, and what was the mood in the dressing room after that first period? 
Yeah, I mean, we were positive. I mean, 12-1 to 1 is obviously good. I, good, uh, good look for us. But, I mean, we just knew that we had to keep battling. And, I mean, these games are not easy to win. So, just got to keep grinding through the entire 60. And if it uh, needs to go into OT, keep grinding there too. William, you obviously didn't play the first three. How difficult was it was it to watch, and how much did you think about making an impact in the series when you were when you were sidelined? Yeah, obviously uh, it sucks being on the sidelines, but um, I mean, like I said before, I was so proud of the team, the way they were competing and battling in those games that I was out, and nice to be able to come back and, and score some goals. And, and I mean, team has been battling. Obviously, Maddie's out too, so um, I think we're just competing every night. Joseph, when you think about the opportunity of playing a game seven in Boston, what goes through your mind? Yeah, um, very excited. Uh, it's a you know great building to play in, and um, it's going to be going to be a great game. Joseph, just uh, a few comments on the defensive effort in front of you tonight. Uh, obviously, the Bruins get nothing for most of the for first twenty five minutes or so. But what was that like in front of you? What were you seeing? Yeah, it was awesome to see in front of me. Um, gives me a lot of confidence back there when our group is been playing like that the past couple of games and um, you know guys are laying out blocking shots and, and coming up big in those moments are there any difficulties for you when you're not getting anything at all in the first you know 20 minutes or so yeah it's it's definitely good for the team um, when we're you know it's lopsided like that and um, you know it's my job just to stay ready when uh, when I'm called on basically the same question for both of you Willie how much did the team want the shutout for Joe and Joe how much did you really want that shutout I mean like 0.1 seconds left when they, when they registered a goal yeah, obviously. I think when you when you have a goalie with, that's going for a shout out, you, that's what you want to want Joe to get it in those moments. Uh, sucks that it didn't happen, but I mean, in the end, we got the win, and that's what's uh, super important. And if you would have got the shout out, it'd have been unreal too. But I mean, right now we're just looking for Ws. Yeah, for for my mindset, it's it's about the win. Um, you know, it's that's the most important thing right now, and. Um, that's that's where my head's at. So I wasn't even sure, you know, with the timing and what happened. Um, but I was just happy when I saw the guys coming towards me and and give me fist bumps for for the win in the game. Uh, for both of you, what did you think of the atmosphere in here tonight, and to finally get a, a big win at home in the series? Yeah, it was it was awesome. Um, I uh, you know was thinking back to last year, but. Uh, it was really special hearing hearing how how, uh, how loud the crowd was tonight and um, you know how much support we had and uh, it was crazy to, to play in so I was really happy. Willie, you've been in some game sevens. What's it like to to play in a game seven? Yeah, it's uh, it's special. I don't know if we've won one yet, so we're up to the test. Hey, Sheldon, the last time you guys were in here, obviously, was a tough game. You know, what can you what's happened since then? What how can you explain uh, these last two performances? I, I just think the guys have competed and worked incredibly hard. They've pulled together. Uh, you know, they've they fought, you know. They didn't, they didn't lay down. They didn't accept their fate. They, they changed it. So, uh, yeah, they, they've been tremendous in terms of their work ethic. And, and uh, you know, even tonight, I mean, it's... You know, we don't play. We don't play a perfect game by any means, but... Uh, Guys worked. You know, that first period, you give up one shot. And again, not a perfect period. There's, they had some looks. But the way that we defended uh, to deny anything clean getting to our net was, was tremendous. What's that a result of, Sheldon? That, like, what's leading to that defense? I, I think it's a reflection of the character of the group, right? I mean, I, you know, you could very easily, you know, you can... You can look at the way we we performed in Game Four that essentially put us in this situation, and you can you can focus on that as perhaps a reflection of our character. But I think it's you know as I challenge the group and talk to the group about, I think when your back's against the wall and you're challenged the way that we are and you're facing elimination, I think you're going you're going to be remembered one way or the other. So how how do you want that to be and to look and um. Like I said, the guys pulled together uh, here and found ways to win. We've been talking a lot about it. It takes what it takes, whether it was us, you know, being comfortable winning the game one nothing. If that's what it was going to take, that's what it's going to take. Um, so, yeah, like I said, guys worked incredibly hard. Um, obviously not a perfect game. And, and, and when we made mistakes, Waller was incredible. So, you know, all of that uh, 
comes together and you find a way to win a tight game like that again. Sheldon, Will, Willie comes in game four, gets finds his legs kind of in game five tonight. Two goals, big hit, back checking. Like, what can you say about his performance? Incredible, big time stuff. You know, that's what you're that's what you're looking for. You know, from a player of his caliber, you can kind of feel it. You know that uh, the first game that he played certainly was was not uh, not even uh, close to what you know what Willie's capable of, and then, you know you could see him kind of working his way back to not just playing, but playing in a series of this caliber and playing in a series is that is the way that it is. I mean, this is this is tough. There's not a lot of not a lot of free ice out there, and uh, you know yeah, you could feel the momentum building, and and uh, you know. Like we all know Willie is a guy that's come through for us in, in the playoffs and and, uh, and finds a way. Uh, but he was outstanding tonight, not just in the two goals, but as you mentioned, he competed extremely hard off the puck, uh, defended really hard. Uh, so yeah, tremendous effort by him, and you know not just him. Like he's, you know, he's he because he has the ability that he does. You know, when he plays like that, it. It you know offense finds him, but we didn't have any passengers tonight. Everybody was was really good. Sheldon, when uh, you look at how Wool has played the last couple of games, just the level he's been at, how steady he's been, how's it? How does it affect the way the team plays in front of him? And do you think that has been the biggest difference in the team the last couple of games? Well, obviously, like you know, he hasn't he hasn't made he hasn't made any mistakes, you know. Um, so because of that, we've stayed in games, right? Scores haven't gone in. There's nothing that's that's gone in that shouldn't have. Uh, so it's given a group confidence, and you need that right now. You know, like we're, you know, we're again tonight. It's such a tight game. It's such a tight game in game five. You know, you're facing elimination if you make some mistakes there. Like it's, you know, it's uh, it's curtains. So um, yeah, it's given the group confidence. Uh, it's been uh, tremendous to see. To, you know. Two shots in the in uh, the first game in the first period that he played, and then one shot here tonight. The guys are also competing for him, giving him every opportunity to to find his way in the series, and and then he's rewarding them. You know, when there are breakdowns, he's he's been great. So, um, yeah, it's been it's been tremendous for us. You know, like I said, it's make the decision to make the switch, and you know, it's. You know, the Sammy Sammy was terrific for us in game two to help us win that game, and this is Joe's opportunity now. And, uh, you know, when goaltending performs like that in, in games where the margins are so thin, it makes a, makes a huge difference. You know, that's the games, the series of, and the games have been so tight in a lot of ways because of the goaltending in the other end. You know, it's been hard for us to, to, to get offense and finish our chances and get the puck over the line. So... Their goalie's been really good, and, and uh, you know, Waller's come in and, and match that. Sheldon, I know a lot of goalies who will tell you the hardest game to play is a game that gives up one shot in a period. They don't get into the game. They don't get any rhythm. Um, how impressed are you that Joseph could respond to that kind of beginning and be as sharp as he was? Yeah. Yeah, it's terrific. I mean... You know, it's a maybe good practice because he had two the night, the game before. Um, so he's, you know, sort of used to that. But what I will say is, is one one shot in that first period, but, but he had to work in that period. There's, there was stuff around the crease and the puck was moving. I thought our guys, the way that we defended and the way that we recovered from almost chances uh, prevented the puck from getting to the net cleanly, but he's still moving and, and reading. In fact, you know, they... They had just as many shot attempts and and such as we had pretty much in that first period. So uh, we defended and didn't allow the puck to get to the net clean. Um, but he's still in the game and he's engaged. So I think that that of course would be helpful. But the goalies like to touch the puck, like to feel the puck. They like to look up and see the shot clock that it's growing and see that their their efforts are being rewarded statistically. All that kind of stuff. Um, you know. But uh, yeah, the fact you know, once they started to get their push, which we knew they would. Uh, in that second period, there's a lot of stuff you now starting to get to him uh, in terms of pucks getting to him, and we left some guys alone at the net in that second period, and, and he looked extremely solid and confident. The bottom of the net was taken care of very well, and he read the play tremendously. What does it feel like to coach in a Game 7? I mean, in my mind, we just played two Game 7s. So, I guess, you know, it's, it's not... Uh, 
it's an elimination game. It's, I mean, this tonight, like the crowd was, that crowd was tremendous tonight. I mean, that was so loud in there. I, it was, you know, my voice starting to go on me just, just not just for line changes and trying to communicate to the guys. Like it's really, really loud. I'm not sure how it, it feels up top or, or, or what, but down at ice level, there's a lot of stuff coming down on us and, and you got to kind of override that to be able to communicate to the guys. And it's, you're trying to stay calm and help the group stay calm, yet it's hard to do so if you can only talk to them when you have to scream as loud as you can at them. Um, um, so in terms of what it feels like, it feels like what we've just gone through, where every single play matters, you expect it to be tight, uh, you know, because at the end of the day, it's all, all we've learned is, earned is another another game on the schedule. As good as this feels and, you know, as proud of the group as you are, you know, for the effort they put forth and the results they've gotten, how we performed in these couple of games to, to earn this other, this next game, that's all we've done is earn that one. You know, Boston's had had this game, you know, essentially on the schedule um, all the way through. So, you know, for the first time now, we'll go, we'll go into Boston and, uh, Everything is all the same in terms of both teams facing elimination. Sheldon, are we seeing Matt Nyes uh, taking his game to a level that we've yet to see him play at in the NHL in his career? So Nyes, yeah, I, I thought was, I thought was really, really good for us. You know, in that Tampa series last year, coming in, and you know, I, I barely know the guy, um, and he was tremendous. Um, but I do think it's going to another level here. The confidence. Um, that he's shown the play that he made to send Willie in tonight was just one of the great plays, strong plays he made along the wall. So, yeah, he's been he's been really good in this series and, and just getting better. So I think when a guy with his skill set and his size, you know, when he gets confident and comfortable in this type of an environment, uh, it's it's a great thing. And you know, it gets. It's, you know, we've talked, we, we miss Bobby McMahon. He makes us a better team the way that he's played for us. Um, but Nyes has, has found another level. I thought as Bobby sort of got better in the regular season, Nyes, he was starting to get pushed down a little bit, you know, and that it was sort of that little bit of that competition going on there. And, and uh, you know, like Domi stepping in for Austin being out tonight, um, you know, Nyes for McMahon, uh, these guys have, have stepped in and, uh, He's, and I just done a tremendous, tremendous job. It's it's been fun to watch that. So you know, I think he'll. Sky's the limit. You know, for a guy like him, keep competing. He's he's a lot to handle out there. Um, and when he's playing like that, uh, you can see how effective he is.